In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the new PowerShell commandlets for storage clause in Windows Server Technical Preview. So I'm going to start by bringing up here a PowerShell window where I'm going to issue a few commands to query the storage performance as it says right now. So uh, I'm going to use get storage clause flow. And this is a management machine, so I actually want to point this to the host where my storage is running. So this is the name of my scale-out file server. And this is basically what's going to get me a lot of information from that host. So it is quite a lot of information. So I want to restrict that to a few things. So I'm going to show the initiator uh, name, and I want to show initiator IOPS and initiator latency. So this is going to show me the VM, the IOPS, and the latency as they sit right now. So you see that I can, with a single command, grab all this. Uh, there's some default policies there as well. So what I want to do now is I want to make sure that I see this uh, sorted. So I'm going to go and use PowerShell to say sort. I'm going to do sort by initiator IOPS and use the descending option and use the same fields. So you can see that I can clearly identify VM6 as being the VM uh, with the most uh, IOPS right now. Uh, I can see also that my latency is pretty good. And uh, what I can tell you is that VM6 and VM5 are both using a few thousand IOPS each. And uh, if I'm looking for a noisy neighbor, I can clearly tell that this is the guy I'm looking for. 